So far to this point, Alvin Kamara has had a lackluster season. Fantasy owners who drafted him are questioning their decisions, but is there reasons for optimism? We're going to discuss it here. Is he a buy low candidate, Andrew Hagenbach? I think so. I mean, a lot of people have slow starts to a season. We got to remember this is becoming week four, so it's still the very beginning of the year. For him, it's a very slow start to the season, and there's a, and he just came back from injury. So I think this is a good opportunity for him to come out, showcase what he still has, and still early. So I, I think a good chance to buy low now, I would take the opportunity. Andrew Holman, we know part of his slow start has been due to injury. He's been dealing with that rib injury. Are you concerned about this at all? Do you think that this is something that he's going to be able to push past? I think he's going to be just fine with this rib injury, whatever is going on. He's only got about 15 points for PPR this year so far. Last season, he averaged 18.05 points per game. He's going to be fine. Alvin Kamara is still Alvin Kamara. I think he's extremely talented. I don't think it matters too much who the quarterback is. It never has seemed to. He's always done what he's going to do. He's going to score some points. And I think he's going to be a good addition to your fantasy team if you can get him on the cheap. Just to backtrack to what you just said, you don't think it matters who the quarterback is. Drew Brees, obviously, we knew he had a great connection with him. I think it does, because when Taysom Hill subbed in for Drew Brees in the past, that was a big problem for Alvin Kamara owners. They saw a reduction in his value. And in week three, he did get seven targets, which is great. If he gets seven targets a game, more often than not, you're going to be happy with it. But they only connected twice. And now we could go back, we look at the tape and see why is that. Uh, one thing we know about Jameis Winston is he is an inaccurate passer. And a lot of his interceptions do come in that middle part of the field. That's one thing that I can look back at his time with Tampa and say, oh, that's really where a lot of a big chunk of his interceptions really came from. You're not concerned about Jameis whatsoever in terms of Alvin Kamara's value. I think that Jameis can hurt him more than Andy Dalton would. I would honestly be happy if there was a switch at quarterback. I think Andy Dalton could be great for his value, but I don't think Jameis Winston is going to hurt him too much. I mean, he's a playmaker. He's he's a guy who shoots the ball deep a lot, and hopefully that can open up some lanes for Kamara as well moving on in the season. Andrew Hagebaugh, do you think that Alvin Kamara can still finish as RB1 this year? Through two weeks, he has put up 4.6 in week one, and then in week three, put up 5.3. Well, like Andrew said, I mean... This is a guy who can easily bounce back. And, and again, it doesn't really matter who's the quarterback at this point, but he's starting to bounce back and I'm positive of it. I'm sure a lot of us are positive of it. He's going to have positive performances. Again, rib injuries are tough to come back from because, you know, you get hit in the ribs quite a bit. And we've seen so many of these big time players have slow starts to the season. Next thing you know, around this time, week five, week six, stuff like that, they start to break out and start, I think this could be a good chance for Kamara to break out. And if you can get him on the cheap now, like literally do it. Like football, you can't be scared of things. It could be a great risk to take. How risky is it? It's going to come down to what who you trade off to get him, who you can trade to buy low on Alvin Kamara. And who are some of those guys? What are some names that we could toss out there? Uh, Cordell Patterson straight up for Alvin Kamara. Andrew Holman, are you taking that? I think I would absolutely take Kamara. I mean, Yes, Cordero Patterson is good. Last year, towards the end of the season, he slowed down a lot. I don't know what the what the future is with Mariota is going to be playing the, the rest of the year, how well a switch at quarterback could affect him. I think Kamara is absolutely worth going after, especially for Cordero Patterson. If you can spake that swap, Kamara is a solid running back who will do good things this season. What about a guy like Khalil Herbert? Khalil Herbert's great. Damian but he's Pierce? also... Damian Pierce, I would definitely question. I'm, re- but you know, I'm really high on Damian Pierce. Uh, <laughs> Khalil Herbert, I, I would absolutely trade if you can get Kamara for him, just simply because as soon as Montgomery comes back, Montgomery's still going to be the guy. And that's going to be a question for another video. Stay tuned for that one. Follow us on all our social medias to check that one out. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel to check that one out. I do agree with you guys that Alvin Kamara is a name that you want on your team because I think the numbers by the end of the year are going to average out to someone who, at worst, I think will be a low-end running back one. Do we still have that same level of Alvin Kamara? Are we still talking about a top five back here? That's probably my one hesitancy, and it depends on who 
you're game told you to trade. I mean, we talked about some of the top wide receivers out there. If some of your opponents are trying to question you on that, if you are an Alvin Kamara owner, leave us some questions below in the comment section, leave a like on the video, follow us on social media, subscribe to the channel from Juju and the two Drews, Andrew Homan, Andrew Hagenbaugh, stay safe, happy, and healthy. And we'll see you on the next one.